I'm joined by So You Think You Can Dance Season 3 winner, Tsibathle Shavika in studio. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> it's really great that you could be here with us and we do want to offer our condolences about your gran. Very sorry to hear that. Thank you. Um, but your family must be very proud of you. You've won this season of So You Think You Can Dance. Um, can you tell me about what that experience was like? Mm, for me, like entering the competition firstly, it wasn't about the money. It was just, I wanted to grow as a dancer and to people to see that I have this talent and to get more opportunities, like people to work with me. Mm -hmm. And then now it happens that I'm being the winner of this season and I'm so overwhelmed, I'm very excited and my family is so proud of me, yes, because um, I've been dreaming of being a professional dancer and yet now it happened, so it is a dream come true. Okay, great. And I just want to talk about the show. Okay. Um, <laughs> what a great win for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> um, when did you start dancing? Um, I started dancing in 2006. Um, I was doing grade 8. And um, I used to watch um, Dance for All is an NGO company that teaches around township. It teaches black students to do ballet, contemporary African dance. So I used to watch them and then I started joining because they captivated and insp inspired me because you never seen black people, black children doing ballet. So for me, I was interested and then I started joining them. And how old were you? I was 15 years. 15? Yes. So uh, that's quite a, a late age to start yes. dancing. Um, and what was the journey like, like picking up these movements and actually perfecting them um, to the point where you win this show? Um, when I started dancing, um, I did it all the classes. But then for me, I think, you know, when God has given you a gift, it is your gift. No one can take it away from you because I started dancing my first year because I was in the junior. And then the following year, um, they auditioned people because they have this program where they they put you in a scholarship, they pay you your school fees and send you in the colored school. So I went there. I was chosen to be part of the audition. And then it was my second year already. I was still in the junior. And then I was chosen to be one of the top 14 scholarship people who was going to be paid school fees wise, transported to go to school. So I was so lucky. And then I think um, dance has been a blessing from God to me because from there I, was, I didn't struggle like to, it, everything just went so quickly for me. Mm. Yeah. That's really great. It is. Seems like it just was a blessing for you. <laughs> it is. And I know you're a contemporary dancer. Yes. And you have to learn all of these <laughs> different dance styles yes. and very quickly what was that like um for me like uh, as, I, as you know i'm a contemporary dancer um it was so hard and challenging to learn all those kind of steps because um every week i was given a different genre like and then for me dancing in hills i never danced in hills before and then i never had basics of salsa before it was very challenging but then when you put a lot of hard work on it. I think it's possible like for you to understand and if you are dedicated and you really want to learn more, mm -hmm. everything can just... I want to talk about the movements. Contemporary is so smooth moving and then say you have something like hip hop, it's just like a lot of yeah. um, quick uh, like jolting movements. How do you go from one to the other? Oh, but I can say it was the hardest thing for yeah. me, <laughs> and even my performance was was in the what that great. Um, simply because I used to flow, I used to use my yes. body, so I had to be much stronger and to be like the movement. I supposed to be strong and to be tight. So, um, but I try to do my best as I can, like to to understand its concept and stuff. And I think I tried my best. Yeah. As I say, it wasn't easy. Yeah. It's not easy. You did a great job though, girl. Thank you. <laughs> um, and you won 250,000 rand. What are you going to do with the prize? Um, I've won the money. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy my mommy house because we live in the shack and with my siblings. So we've been, I've been praying that one day I'm going to buy her a house in my, in my family. So which is now it's going to happen. That's I'm really buy great. Her a house. That's awesome. Thank you. And what's next from here? 
From now on, I'm gonna I'm planning to go back to job because in Cape Town, there's no opportunities in the dance industry. Because even last year, I was still looking for this year. I was looking for a dance company up until the auditions came. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been dancing up until I came to the yeah. auditions. Yeah. So now I'm planning to go back to work at least two years or three, and then I, what my wish is to have my own dance school at Kailicha, where I can teach as well kids from township. To That's give back what I have. Right. Yes. So after Joburg, will your family come with you? No, I'm going to leave them here. Like I'm going to sort out like the house thing and right. they can have proper place to live in and then I'm going to go back and just support them. Okay, great. Thank you so much for joining us and good luck with your future dance career. I think you're going to do some great things. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>